Well, I would never have thought I would be returning to one of my favorite franchises and covering some news. I have previously covered Borderlands content here on the channel, and it's been quite a while since I have talked about it. The last video I think I did post was about Borderlands 4, and I guess we kind of got an update, and it's not the biggest update, but it is something to go off of. We're primarily going to be talking about Borderlands 4 and Tiny Tina's Wonderlands 2. There is a unannounced Brothers in Arms, but I'm not going to be talking about that because I have no knowledge of anything involved with that so if you guys do go on to enjoy today's video i would really appreciate if you guys can drop me a like subscribe if you guys are new and other than that guys let's get right into this so this news is pretty old and it's actually from november 20th and this is an ign article originally this was reported by eurogamer now the story goes a developer who worked at support studio lost boys interactive referenced borderlands 4 tiny tina's wonderlands 2 and an unannounced brothers in arms game and this was in a now deleted linkedin post all games were mentioned as being built within unreal engine 4 so lost boys interactive a division of gearbox which itself is a part of the embattled embracer group embracer is currently working through a brutal restructure that has seen massive layoffs studio closures and canceled projects embracer is thought to be trying to sell off gearbox but according to ign sources it has struggled to find a buyer for the price it is asking for uh, gearbox has yet to announce borderlands 4 tiny tina's wonderlands 2 and a brand new brothers in arms game ign asked for a comment from gearbox and they have not said anything that's primarily why i did wait on this because i was going to see if if gearbox was going to comment on the whole story but unfortunately i don't think that they have at the time of this recording so let's talk about borderlands 3 for a second borderlands 3 really wasn't the greatest revival for the franchise i know they took a big hiatus in between borderlands 2 and borderlands 3 we had the pre-sequel and that wasn't really received well on the other hand i wish i could say the same thing i think the story is probably weaker than borderlands tales from the borderlands i don't know pretty much how to uh, give an example of that i don't think the story was really that great but i think the gameplay and the dlc was actually pretty good i played some of the dlc but not all of it um i kind of gave up after i beat the game and then it took a couple months for them to release some dlc um but borderlands the pre-sequel borderlands 3 new tales from the borderlands and even tiny tina's wonderlands i don't think are the greatest games in the franchise i know a lot of people may disagree with me on that i think the better games are borderlands 1 and borderlands 2 and tales from the borderlands i think those are the top three best borderlands games in my opinion the other games that i have mentioned at this point kind of do take a big dive in terms of quality i know new tales from the borderlands is hailed as one of the worst games in the borderlands franchise so writing wise for borderlands 4 it has to be something crazy i know borderlands in the last couple of years hasn't been really well received and i think they have came out with some pandora's collection and that was a total nightmare because i think it was a port for the switch if i'm not wrong but beside all of this borderlands 4 is maybe a couple years away at this point i think there needs to be some innovation within the franchise because we haven't really had anything new for quite a while i mean i I want a open world borderlands game i want to be able to create my own character at this point i think that was probably one of the best features in tiny tina's wonderlands and i'm hoping that can return um speaking of tiny tina's wonderlands is it really need a sequel though i don't think so i did buy the game but i never really got into it and so i returned it and well i mean that's pretty much where i'm at i mean i love the borderlands franchise i do think it is one of the greatest gaming series in years for me personally i mean i come back to it every once in a while i don't play it too often but i mean borderlands 1 and borderlands 2 are my favorite games in the franchise and maybe the pre-sequel i don't really play that too much here and there but 
Yeah, guys, I mean, that's gonna have to wrap up today's video. I hope you guys definitely did enjoy. I mean, the game is probably a couple of years away. Randy Pitchford will probably go on a crazy Twitter rant talking about details of the game when it's not even announced or anything. I know he's notorious for that. But other than that, guys, that's gonna have to wrap up today's video. I hope you guys definitely did enjoy, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.